All right, so welcome to Dreadnought 14, or Dreadnought Redux 14. So last time I added I added this here empty mess hall, and I got started on this um, sick bay, as well as uh, the little dispensary room and such. And today I'm going to really try to, um, well, I'm going to try to expand upon the sick bay here, as well as maybe even get started on some of these other officers' quarters. All right, let's get to it. And get to it we do. Looks like, um, uh, yeah, guess I'm adding another bed here. Um, yep. Interestingly enough, I uh, traced it with the pencil before just eyeballing it with the scissors. Or sorry, not the scissors, the scalpel. Uh, then gluing them together, trimming just a little bit to make sure everything fit nicely, and then gluing it in place. And, yeah, again, making another bed, putting it in the corner right next to the desk, if memory serves, after gluing those two halves of that bed together. And I follow this uh, thing with the beds, making them out of two pieces of that uh, strip for uh, just about all the other parts of, the, um, of this build out to even the other officers' quarters. Um, let's see, yep. So now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing some poor soul from the uh, photo etch people department to serve as the patient in this, uh, well, there I am, you know, texting a buddy of mine on my phone, but uh, yeah, he's going to serve as the patient in this, well, let's be honest, it was turn to the 1900s medicine, you wouldn't be inaccurate to call it a leg amputation factory <laughs> that's pretty grim but uh, that's kind of the scene i'm building here so i'm putting someone there kind of holding the guy down comforting him for whatever reason while someone else is working on him i'll i'll probably not have the guy getting amputated but there is another guy i have visibly amputated that i make in just a moment after um yeah, after putting all those together. I had one more guy and I put him to the beds before I get on to the various officers' quarters in the uh, engineer's office. So after working with this guy, uh, I hack this, uh, I hack a leg off this photo etch person. End up finding him again and lo losing him, finding him again. And then I put him in the appropriate place. And then I clean out this uh, super glue applicator. And it's not too many after this. I think the thing breaks, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to find other ways to apply my super glue. I have so far, but they're only a stopgap measure until I get another one of these things. Because, well, as I'm going to say in the next uh, slow motion bit, I've kind of maligned this thing and it didn't deserve it. Um, this thing really was a workable solution to applying thin super glue, which would get in all the appropriate places to bond and put things together in a rather elegant way. And it was a good piece of kit. I'm going to say that. So I've put some photo etch pieces now since I've been speaking into various places. I think I put a guy there at the door. I may have put another guy at the, um, or tried to put another guy at the uh, entrance. That's the dispensary right there. I may or may not have lost some of these people. I'll make it a point to look at the uh, thing before I get finished putting it together. Um, and there I go. I lost one of the uh, room walls and I put it back on with some of the plastic cement before using that same plastic cement to. Uh, put together yet another bed and put it into some uh, quarters. I think this is like a warrant officer's quarters, um, if I'm not mistaken, according to that blueprint. Definitely one of the better investments I've made in this model is that um, blueprint book. Without that, uh, none of this would be really doable. I'd have to kind of bullshit my way through the whole thing and I that would have, at best, if I'd really put a lot of effort into it, taken a lot more research and guessing, but I'd have probably guessed wrong. I'm not sure if I'd have put two and two and get together and say, hey, put the coal bunkers on the outside because they act like extra armor. 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, there I am putting in some uh, folded up pieces of uh, brass, or sorry, yeah, brass. Um, texting a friend again. What can I say? I do this in my spare time, so if I'm being honest and uh, time lapsing filming this, you're going to see bits of me doing things not model making related. Must have said the point. So there I'm adding a piece. I think that might have been a chair. Yeah, it was a fun text conversation with a good friend of mine, actually. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, back to, um, back to cutting up some pieces. This might be a shelf unit that I put into a, uh, side of the whole thing. That or some other piece. There I am cutting little bits of it with the, uh, with the uh, scissors before folding things together. Yep, that looks like it's a uh, shelf piece that I've made with a photo etch bit and a plastic piece and then super glued it all together. Manipulating it with uh, sharp pointy things because really those are the most precise implements I have. And there I go, trying to put it into place. Putting a lot of time and effort into doing that and to try to, you know, move this little shelf analog into position. Again, I made box I made things that were to be shell bins or powder boxes, and I modified one of those to be a shelf. And that moment you just saw me there, and there I go again, and even more, was messaging a buddy of mine, and now I quickly read the uh, blueprints to see where things are going to go and what they're going to do, just to make sure I get what's in what room correct. And I think it might be here or at another point that I add the, uh, I do the uh, engineer's office. And I do him first because that way I know everybody else is somebody's, you know, cabin. So I can, so I know, you know, what to put the beds in, what not to put the beds in, that kind of thing. Well, maybe a little bit of a shorthand, but that's neither here nor there. And there I go. I think this is when I'm adding somebody's uh, shelving unit. Nope, that's a chair first. I might add a shelving unit after this. Um, or not. I think, yeah, I think I do that first. Uh... And I am rapidly approaching a part where I actually start moving and speaking in normal speed again. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and go to normal speed. Alright, so kind of a midway segment here. So I've got these, uh, I think I've got the uh, leg amputation factory <coughs> uh, ready. Oh, said the quiet part out loud there. But, uh, yeah, so that guy's had a bad day, and this guy's having a worse one. So, other than that, got started on some of the um, offices and officers' quarters. And I'm going to go ahead now and finish those officers' quarters up, try to put some guys in there. And uh, then this level will be just about done. Maybe add a couple of people walking around. And then return to this, back to this one, so I can add some more people. Now... Looking at some of my previous videos, this does fly in the face of something I said I was going to do, which was do the baseline, you know, first and then add the details. And what I found is that if I do that, the whole paint job gets kind of messed up. Like there's issues with some, with glue going where I don't want it to, throwing off the finish, that kind of thing. Versus my hope is that by putting everything down first and then going over it, things will be a little more even, a little more, uh, a little more polished, if you will. So that's why I'm trying it that way. But you know what? I'll leave the people out of this, and then I'll try. I'll try putting the people in here, and we'll see which one's better. That might be a good idea, because again, amongst other things, this is meant to be a learning experience, and. I'm learning a lot, including, well, I have not been the nicest daddy to this poor little toy, but one of his little tongs came off. Poor thing, looks like I'm going to have to get a replacement. Well, 
What's the line from Fight Club? You never know what you have till you miss it? Well, yeah, this thing kind of broke apart on me, so I'm going to have to try to acquire another one or something. But that's neither here nor there. All right. I'm going to put give this thing a proper funeral. Goodbye, little super glue applicator. We hardly knew ye. Hmm. Um, plop. Actually, hold on. I need somewhere good to act as a trash can. Hey! That'll work for now. Enough of those antics. Back to modeling. Okay, not quite a slam dunk, but I hope amusing nonetheless. So here I go, and I start creating um, some beds. Now you'll see me cutting little corners into this sections for this first bed, and that's because I used a little strip, one of those uh, .010 by .020, I think, um, inch uh, strips just to reinforce that corner in that area. And now i got to work my uh, little bed analog around it. But uh, I managed to do that. I managed to get that in there. Some uh, rather precision, I guess you could say, uh, scalpel work. I don't know. Maybe I should have been a surgeon. I mean, I seem to have pretty steady hands. Mm, I like machines more. I'd rather be able to turn the engine off and fix it than deal with it when it's running. That's uh, I read a little thing once. It was like a surgeon talking about something. Uh, comparing their work to that of, uh, it was either a mechanic or an engineer. And the guy said, yeah, we'll try doing the work while the engine's running. So, while I had that little, uh, aside, uh, that's me working with the, trying to fold some chair or something. Uh, let me, it might have been a desk into position. Let's wait. da 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 It looks like a desk. Okay. That happens. All right, that looks like a desk, which is a-okay with me. Um, then I keep going. I'm sure I'm cutting off somebody somewhere. That might be a chair. We'll see if I put it somewhere that looks like a chair in just a moment. Yep, looks like a chair to me. All right, and you'll see that I took a little silver piece, and I've been using it as a super glue applicator instead. So, yeah, I found that I could mimic that super glue applicator by taking one of the strips of my old photo etch while I here cut down some pieces of uh, plastic strip to use as best for other things. But anyways, I found that I could take a um, strip of my old photo etch things that I created and cut it like in half a little bit to mimic the geometry of the tip of that uh, super glue applicator. And I found that it worked really well, or at least well enough to do the job. So here I am using the fine tip tweezers again to uh, ap apply somebody somewhere. And I'm, yeah, I'm bending some pieces up now and looks like, oh yeah, so it looks like one of the tables fell out and I reapplied him, which is... Yeah, I would like to have the tables that I create stay in place. And as you can see right there, that's where I created my own super glue applicator. And then took another sip of the scotch. Because, you know, got to really remember that uh, other, that, you know, properly made super glue applicator. But anyways, there I go, applying another guy to a place. Uh, this time, uh, opening the door to the um, officer's mess. Maybe I should make like a little cart behind them, like they're going to serve everybody, you know, a meal or something. But uh, that's neither here nor there. So now I'm making a um, thing where I have a bed. I'm, su I'm uh, gluing it with solvent glue in place because I'll be honest. I'm going to recommend that when you can, you use the solvent-based glues for your plastic because those are going to bond stronger. They like partially melt the plastic and bind it by... I think it's at a more molecular level. I don't know. Okay, so those caliper antics. I found that one set of uh, officers' uh, cabins I made was like a millimeter shorter than the other. 
Now, that's not much when my eyes see it, but the uh, at a 700th scale, it, um, it uh, correlates to a couple of feet. So, that's really uh, important for this next part that I'm doing, which is take some pieces of styrene sheet instead of your, my normal photo etch and assemble some analog of shelving after that, which is what I'm doing now with some pieces of varying strip, the 0.010 by 0.020 and the 0.010 or 0.020 by 0.080 that I've been using as walls for this thing. So, yeah, there I am making a shelf piece and making it out of styrene sheet so I can glue them into position with either solvent glue or super glue. I try solvent glue first. I think it fails if memory serves. And then I try super glue and it works. And then I just dab it with a little extra solvent glue in the hopes to strengthen that bond as much as I can. Um, I try to put a little desk piece photo etch in as well. Doesn't quite work. So I, you know, kind of rig up a piece of plastic sheet in that area as if it were a desk. Um... But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Let's see, does this thing give me any... Nope, okay. So, there I go, trying to super glue pieces in. I think you just saw me with my jury-rigged super glue applicator, making the one that I lost. And then some application with solvent glue. Yep, that's the little guy I'm trying to push in there. And it's putting up a fight. It's not being my friend. I try cutting out some excess plastic and glue from previous attempts, as well as just excess plastic in general. It almost goes in, but not quite, so I cut out that area again with a scalpel, trying to even things out. Doesn't quite work. And then I say, you know what the heck with it, let's just uh, use a piece of styrene uh, strip and try to glue in a little table piece that way. And... Eventually, after several attempts, I do end up getting something in there that I can use. I'm just going to say it. It really, what I have learned is the biggest thing, at least to me, for getting things this small and this detailed is a tolerance for disturbingly high attrition rates. So you saw me there using some solvent glue to try to get this piece of plastic into position using the uh, curved tweezers to you know move it in the right place. And yeah, I'm getting to the end of this time lapse section, so let's just say that it worked. All right, let's just see this thing's on. Hooray it is. So as you all have noticed, I've uh, made quite a bit of progress. I just got um yeah, two officers' cabins to do. And that's this this deck actually done, except maybe for adding some more people. You know, more officers in their quarters, you know, that kind of thing. Then I'll have to get back to this a little bit. But I think what I'll do is I'll end the video with these all nice and done. And, uh, yeah. Then next time after that, for uh, 15 Redux, we'll have... Uh, We'll have something to paint. All right. And what a lovely display of drumming skills and lack of video editing chops to start this final time lapse section of Dreadnought 14 Redux. So. I think we're actually approaching the number of parts to this that the old video used to have, <laughs> or video series. Uh, I've, I've griped about that enough, though. So, here I am once again using that old bit of photo etch to put down glue in all the right places. Um, so here And here is where I try to make a shelf. And if I recall correctly, this one doesn't quite work out, unfortunately. I try to put it together like I do the last one, and it just doesn't want to work, so I'm like, you know what, I want to get this done, <laughs> and so I take a slightly cheaper way out, so here I am once again cutting the thin strips, cutting another piece for the backing, 
just try to get it nice and even and good looking. And a bunch of time of me just looking on the phone of, what do I want to listen to? I can't listen to music right now because I'm using that phone to record. <laughs> but, uh, yep, tap, 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 tap. Do things that aren't modeling, more things that aren't modeling, and here we go. So, as you can see, I am once again trying to glue the plastic in place. And it doesn't quite go to the place that I want. It, just a little away, too away from the edge. But you can always, you know, kind of move things around or cut the edges down to make it look more even. And that's what I try to do here. But it just doesn't quite work. And it may have dropped. So what I do now is I found another piece of plastic that was a little thicker that I thought might be a little nicer. And I cut it to a reasonable width. And then what I do is I make some pieces of an appropriate height put them together, glue them together, cut that down, trim that just a little bit to smooth the edges, and then I go ahead and I put that piece that I've made into the other office recorders as kind of a closed set of shelves. So this time I've actually got a bit more detail into this section than the last one, which is a good thing, I think. Um, it's also probably good that I'm you know, learning as I go, which is also nice. And not quite the place where I should do a post-mortem, though. I should wait till all these decks are done. Then I should, then I'll have the ability to really properly judge what's good or not. But you saw me there putting in a chair piece, or sorry, desk, putting in some uh, glue to hold it down. Now here's the chair. It's either, the chair is either for that desk or it's for the, um, the officer's compartment where I previously gave him a desk and a, you know, and it was made it out of plastic and if I'm correct when I eventually do get this thing to stick in after a few attempts and some fiddling and frustration that desk piece ends up disappearing you know the plastic of it so I have to replace it that joint doesn't end up looking good so what you saw me doing just there with a really thin strip of plastic poking I was trying to use that to apply some super glue like a drop at the end of it didn't quite work um, well, there we go, some more cutting of a, a photo etch piece. Uh -huh. Alright, so again, yep, folding again with the uh, large flat tweezers. And, uh huh, alright, so now I put on some glue, and I think this is where that uh, plastic guy comes off. I might have uh, fouled up that previous chair, but the next one goes a little better, I think. And then, if, then as I foreshadowed, the, uh, yep, desk comes loose about here. Grumble, grumble. I mean, yeah, oh well, that's life. Okay, so there I am, cutting some more super bits in to make a super glue applicator again. And then putting, dropping in and trying to make things work and just doesn't quite want to, but eh. I end up figuring it out and then making another desk piece and after a bit of trouble and finagling and hope and beg and scream, uh, I do end up eventually getting that all secured and in there. Um, hmm. Scalpel isn't the best tool to do that with, but I mean, if you got nothing else to reach in and do that nicely, like if the twe all the tweezers you get are just, you know, a little bit... Uh, too blunt that is a viable option I have found not again not the best but that can work so here I go a bit more folding I think this is a okay it's another chair so it we're stocking chairs in there oh no that was a person I'm sorry yeah one of the people in the uh, that mess hall fell out so I had to glue the replacement back in there and it looks like that replacement may not have taken... Oh, no, wait, no, this is like a guy that I'm putting in somewhere to look like he's studying in his quarters. So, hooray for that. And it's looking like I am rapidly approaching the end of this time-lapse section, so I'm going to go ahead, end this little recording, and leave you to me moving and talking in normal speed. Unlike Mr. 10 Thinking of Espresso, which is I am right now. All right, just because... Not sure how long the camera's been on and not sure how long I got left. I'm going to end it here for uh, Dreadnought Redux Part 14. So, you've got these uh, quarters pretty well done. This wall slanting on me. Grumble, grumble. Let's see if I can't just straighten that out with a little bit of 
judiciously applied glue while I speak. So I'm going to try to get this out pretty quickly. Then the pace might slow for a little bit just because I'm going to be on a little mini vacation towards the end of this week. And I figured, well, I'm not going to be doing any model making when I'm away. So just figured I'd say that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and edit this all up. And next time, we'll start putting on some more people in the uh, showers and such, and then maybe get to some painting. All right, peace out.